Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we have a very different one. We're gonna be unboxing a, a new, not really set, because it's not a full set, but we're gonna be unboxing new uh, saucers and cups from Royal Albert from the 100 year collection. So if you didn't know this, because I don't believe I've ever mentioned this, I am a big fan of tea sets and having tea. I drink around four or five different uh, teas every day. And there's, there's just something very special of using a cute little saucer, cute little cup to have your tea. Next to me, I do have, you can see it, but I'll show it in a minute. I have my china cabinet. I have only one full set of Royal Albert being the Rose Confetti. I'll show it to you in a minute. This is something very different that I've never talked about in my channel, but it is a big passion of mine. I do have a couple of more sets on my eye and on my wish list that I want to get at some point, but this Royal Albert set specifically, or in general, I feel like tea sets can get a little pricey. So today we're going to be unboxing my first set of the 100 year collection. It is, compo it is composed of two different sets. I have one of them right now. I still need a teapot, creamer, so uh, creamer and milk, I'm sorry, and sugar bowl. But uh, for now we just have the cups and saucers. Let me show you the one that I actually have right now, which what I was mentioning, it's the rose confetti. So this is what the rose confetti looks like. It is absolutely stunning. This we uh, we added to our wedding registry once when you know back when we got married. So ever since I got that, I knew that at some point I wanted to get something else. Like I wanted to get a different set to add to that one. So I saw on Wafer. By the way, I got this from Wafer. So the set did come in two boxes, a bigger one that's down here, and then this smaller one. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this smaller one. I believe the smaller box is going to be the salad plates because you do have to purchase them separately. So they sell the teacups with the saucers as one set, and then you can get the salad place if you wish to do so. Oh wow, this is very hefty. So here's the first one. Let me see if there's something. This just looked like white Cheetos. And they smell like Cheetos too, which is pretty interesting. Now here is the big box, but it's pretty, pretty big. So I'm just gonna open it real quick, and then I'll sit down again and show you because this is just huge. So anyway, now that it's here, it's kind of dusty. Let's go ahead and bust open the salad plates. I'm gonna open the salad plates first and then we'll go ahead and open the cups and saucers. So, oh my goodness. This is so pretty, you guys. Uh, you have no idea how much I love tea sets. It's, it's crazy how much I like them. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. This one is the 1940s, the English chintz. So Royal Albert came out with two different sets. Uh, so it basically is one per every 10 years that they released. So this one represents the 40s. And then we have, oh, this is very pretty. And there's a couple of tea sets or a couple of teapots that came out with a few of these designs. Not all of them have it. Oh, this one is very pretty. This one is the 1930s Mint Deco. Look at how pretty this one is. I actually didn't expect I was going to like this one as much. I really want to get the other one. I originally wanted to get the other one first, but I found that this one was on sale, like on a really good sale. So I was mentioning that the set consists or the collection consists of two sets. It sets... Each set comes with five different designs. So today I have five of the different um, of the different 10 years of Royal Albert. This one is pretty, but it's not as pretty as the other ones. This, would come, this is the 1920s Spring Meadow. Look at that. Very, very pretty. It's, there's just something about tea sets that just blows my mind. Okay, these two are the ones that I was most excited about. And I think I'm going to be getting the tea set in this design. This one is the 1910 duchess look at how beautiful super super pretty i love the black with the gold and the yellow it just i feel like it looks super super elegant and i love that this is like the 1910s so like their first 10 years of royal albert this is the design they went for and i really really like it so i think this is going to be the one that i choose for my teapot because uh, only, like I was mentioning, a few came, a few of the designs did have a teapot and creamer and uh, sugar bowl. 
This one is another one that I was very, very excited for. Wow, this is even more beautiful in person. I really wish that they had made this a teapot. And actually, I'm sorry, this one is the 19, like the 19th. So this was their very first Royal Albert design. Look at how stunning this is. And then on the back, it does say the year and then the name of the design, which this one is the Regency, Regency Blue. This is, wow. This is truly, truly breathtaking. If I could have only one set out of the five of this, it would be this one. This one is absolutely stunning. I will show them a little better in some better angles in a minute and with the cups and saucers. Uh, oh my goodness, this is so hard to pick. But um, honestly, my favorite ones was of course this one, the blue and the black one. The black one is just ridiculously stunning. So let me secure this, I guess, in the floor, and then we can move on to opening. Let me put this down. We can move on to opening this beautiful cups and saucers. Look at the size of this. This is huge. No wonder the box was so big. Oh, wow, you guys. Look at how stunning. And here in the box, you guess kind of like the five of them. You see how pretty, how pretty these are. So the box comes with the cups and the saucers. So on the very top, they started with the one that I like the least. This one is, oh no, this is not the one that I like the least. This one is also very pretty. This is the English chintz. Chintz, I don't know how you pronounce it. So it goes like that. So stunning. And then on the inside, there is a little rose right there. Very delicate. So this one is from the 1940s. That is the that is my dad's my dad's uh, birthday. Not the 40s. He was born in 1945, but I don't know how to say it, like my dad's. You know what I'm trying to say, right? The year I don't know. It's, it's not century. It's 100 years. I'm really bad at math, so I don't want to like sound like a fool. So you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this one is very pretty, but not my favorite. Like I wouldn't get the tea set. Like the I keep saying tea set. I wouldn't get the teapot of this one. This one is the mint deco. So this one does come with a teapot, creamer, and sugar bowl, but I won't get it. It's very pretty, but it's not my favorite. So, so stunning. And then here is the saucer, which is a little dirty. Ooh, that's cute that it has those little tiny little flowers right there. The camera is not cooperating. So you can see right there, so, so stunning. This one is the one that I liked the least. I mean, I still like it, but it's the least one that I like. So this one is the Spring Meadow, and this one is from the 1920s. I'm pretty sure my grandparents were born in the 1920s. This is very pretty, but my least favorite. And that's what the cup and saucer look like together. And also on the inside, you get a little baby flower right there. This is so pretty, you guys. I am so excited. I've been wanting this collection for a very long time. Like a very long time. And I just finally decided to go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and these two are my favorite. So this one is a 1910s Duchess. Oh, I think I'm gonna go for this design as my teapot. Look at how pretty that is. It is just gorgeous. And oh my goodness, this is too pretty. And then that's what the inside is like surrounding with those tiny uh, blue flowers. It is so pretty, look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am beyond happy with this set. I feel like when I get the other one, I'm gonna be even more excited because it's more of the pinkish shades. But honestly, out of all the sets, the two sets, my two favorite ones were the blue red regency or regency blue and then the duchess but the other set has a pink with gold flowers that is just gonna be to die for it's actually roses so rose is my favorite flower wow you guys i am so angry that they did not come out with a teapot and creamer and sugar bowl of this design this is just breathtaking i just said that the duchess was the prettiest one but no Regency blue. This one is from the 1900s or the 19s. I, I am really bad at math. I'm sorry, you guys. I really need to learn numbers. And look at how elegant that is. 
Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to host a tea party with some of my friends or just Michael and I. This is calling for a tea party ASAP. I am a little upset that I don't have the teapots that matches. I have another teapot and I have other teapots. I have a white, a fully white one and I have from Royal Albert. I only have one set, like I was mentioning the rose confetti. So I do have the rose confetti, but it really doesn't match at all. And that is what Regency Blue looks like. This is going to be my go-to. It is super, super elegant. So in any tea parties, this is going to be mine. It is so ridiculously stunning. The gold detailing is just to die for. I This is my favorite. There's just no going back. Maybe the other, the pink one, I'll try to find it right now and I'll show it to you. The pink one is another one that's going to be absolutely stunning. I don't even know where my phone is. So <laughs> I'll be right back to grab my phone and I'll show it to you. Or actually, I don't even know why I'm trying to find my phone. I'll just put a picture right here of the other set that will be coming up. Like I want to order that, but first I want to complete this set, ordering that teapot and you know the sugar bowl, all that good stuff. I'm going to show you real quick what the teapot looks like from the only other one that I have, which is going to be rose confetti, like I've mentioned like 5,000 times. This is rose confetti. It's just a stunner, but this one just doesn't match at all this set. The closest one that I could see that it could possibly match is the English tint, but still, I mean, not really. It's not really at all close. So I do need, need the teapot that matches this. I'm gonna show you real quick what the full set looks like. It is very, very stunning. This one is the English uh, English chintz from 1940s, which once again, that's my dad's uh, my dad's year or, you know, my dad's, you know, whatever, 10 years. <laughs> so that's what the salad plate looks like with the saucer and the cup. I'm being very careful not to drop them. It is just a beautiful option of just bringing a little more 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 serene moment in your life of you know enjoying something as you know as small as having a cup of tea just making it even more beautiful served in a beautiful tea set that being said you do not need to go and spend money in buying like a fancy tea set there's so many that i've seen on amazon that are literally like less than 50 dollars for a full set including like your teacup saucers, uh, salad plates, creamer, sugar bowl, like the whole shebang for like less than $50. So you don't have to go and spend so much money, but I feel like the whole, the whole idea behind afternoon tea is just so beautiful. It was just a way to wait for the actual dinner, like to break in some time when you're getting a little hungry. But nowadays, of course, that's not how life works. Everyone has a normal job, most of us. So just enjoying on the weekend or, you know, just to slow down. Sometimes Michael and I will have a quick, not really an afternoon tea because it's just gonna do, we're, we're just gonna like set out our tea set and enjoy our company together in the mornings before we actually go to work, which go to work, it's here at home, before we work and kind of like go on with our days. It's just a way of kind of like unplug and just be the two of us enjoying a nice warm cup of tea with a couple of, you know, cookies. If we're just doing it in the morning real quick, some fruit. And I really, really cherish those moment, moments. So something so simple as having a tea and having some cookies with your husband in a beautiful China, it's just, I don't know. I just really, really... I will be linking it. down below this specific set and I'll show you also kind of like, I'll do a wish list on the description box, letting you know the ones that I want to add to my collection, which is going to be this full 100 years collection. And I'll put all the links down below. And I also add under the description box, a couple of other sets that I found on Amazon that are absolutely stunning, that do not break the bank. That's going to be everything for today. I can go on and on talking about my love for this China, but we're not going to, I'm not going to make you go through all that. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you too also love China sets, which ones would you recommend? I will also leave you in the description box other uh, places you can find the set, but I found that the cheapest ones has always been Wafer, but you can find them at Wafer, Amazon, um, the Royal Albert website, which is part of Wedgwood family now, and also on Macy's, Bloomingdale's. So just keep an eye out if you're interested in getting this. 
I would suggest, uh, you know, the websites that I find them, I'll put them down below. But once again, the cheapest ones I have always been either Macy's or Wayfair. So my rose confetti was fully from Macy's and I got all of the pieces when I could get a really good sale on them. Like I've never paid full, full price for any of the things that I bought. So that's, that's my advice for you. If you want to get or you like tea sets and you want to kind of like start getting more into way, into royal overs, keep an eye out for pricing because they vary a lot and you can get pretty good steals. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.